Hi everyone, it's Tuesday and that means it's singing tips day. Yes, every Tuesday I'm going to be giving you a handy little singing tip that's really going to help your singing. And sometimes there are really tiny little things that can make a massive difference. So, what is today's tip? Well, this really is tiny actually. And it's as simple as this. It's where you look when you're singing. Now, it's not just about looking confident because if, you know, if I'm singing to you, I'm just step back a little bit so you can see, if I'm singing to you and I'm kind of looking down like this, you can use that to show that you're, uh, to show an emotion, to show a, a sadness, but you can't keep that gaze down there for long without it making you look unconfident. So that's one thing. But the big thing is, and this is why this is a good little tip, is because it actually closes something up here and changes your singing. Now, let me show you. I always use Somewhere of the Rainbow. It's a really handy little song to demonstrate these tips on. So that's what I'm going to do. So if you're singing something like Somewhere Over the Rainbow and you're looking up, Somewhere over the rainbow. And when I mean up, I don't mean up. I mean kind of slightly above where your eye gaze would be straight on. Just very, very slightly above that is a perfect place. So if I do it like that, it feels nice and open and free. Now, if I look down and sing the same phrase, it feels different. So I'm just going to show you. Somewhere. It was so, I couldn't get the wear out so well because it was so closed up. I want you to try it because it's the only way you will believe me how much of a difference this makes. So do it with me, do it with your gaze up. Are you ready? So somewhere of the rainbow, Psalm is your first note. Are you ready? Somewhere over the rainbow. Okay, now I want you to do the same thing looking down. Are you ready? Get your, that gaze down, look at the floor and now sing the same thing. Somewhere over the rainbow. How tight is that? And what a tiny little thing. And it's, we've, I got you looking right down there, but even slight looking down, I had a singing pupil that used to automatically just do this and her gaze was down all the time. And even when I told her about it, she didn't realise she was doing it. So do get either video yourself or get someone to tell you. But even that very slight, you can feel it closing up. Um, try it. Keep trying it and um, your favourite song, sing your favourite song and feel the difference. So if you can make sure that when you're singing, you get into the habit, when you're practising as well, you get into the habit of keeping your gaze lifted, it will make a massive difference. If you haven't tried it, if you just listen to the video and you haven't tried it yet, when you get home or when you're kind of away from everybody and you just try it and you will realise what a brilliant little tip that is. Now, I did a, a set of YouTube videos on tiny things that make a big difference to your singing. This is one of them. And in the, um, I'll put some details and a link to that YouTube video that I did a quite, quite a while back um, about this. So, so you can have another little look and another little try. So that is my Tuesday tip for the, de for the day. And I will see you next Tuesday with another tip. And of course, um, during the rest of the week with a few little quotes and a few little chats and, and various other things. So see you then.